the most part, small patches of natural environment left. One of the exceptions is the numerous Mediterranean forests, scrublands, savannas, and other ecosystems of Spain. Many animals that live in these subtropical climates are also found further north into Europe. The fallow deer is one of these animals. These deer were spread across Europe by the Romans. Other deer species live here as well. The red deer is Europe's largest deer species, excluding the moose. It is also the most common and widespread of large wild mammals in Europe. The only others that have similar numbers are the roe deer and the wild boar. The roe deer is a small deer species widespread across Europe. Every fall the deer fight each other over mates and shift to endless changes over the years, degrading after the seventh year. Just like elsewhere in Eurasia, wild boar live here as well. These large hooved mammals are popular game animals. Other frequently hunted game animals live here as well, including the grey partridge, an inhabitant of open fields. A number of small mammals live out on these plains. The European rabbit is one of these. Native to these shrublands and plains, they are invasive throughout the rest of Europe, including the British Isles. The European vole is another example, one of the very small species of mammal and one of countless rodent species found around the world. Another larger and more noticeable rodent species is the porcupine. These rodents cover themselves in barbed spies to protect themselves from predators. This ecosystem also has a number of smaller carnivores. They include the European polecat and the Egyptian vulture, though not normally predating on living animals. The vultures were sometimes used for rocks to crack open eggs, a rare example of tool use in a bird. The badger is an iconic animal native to these parts. Unusually for muscles, they are sociable creatures living in groups of around about six individuals. have been extensively hunted for their fur and parts of their habitat have been destroyed. They are also rabbit specialists, most of their diet consisting of rabbits and hares, as is the case with some other lynx species like the Canadian lynx. They have few natural predators, however they need a large territory to support the prey they need to eat, and thus to support themselves. So they have a low population density which does not help their conservation situation. Less famous animals have been introduced here from other places. The European pheasant was originally from Eastern Asia. It is a common game bird across much of Europe and is frequently hunted. Kills that the lynx mates attract a number of other predators, including ravens. European gannet is another introduced species, originally coming from Africa. It may have been introduced during the Middle Ages. In the 
fields, the polecat, the ancestor of the ferret, hunts for rabbits. The European rabbit is an adaptable vagamore, quick breeding and adapt and able to make their burrows interconnect and allow larger social groups to live together. They can overpopulate without any predators. They use the same burrows to hide as predators. The European rabbit is the ancestor of the multiple domesticated rabbit breeds. Thank you. 